Hello everyone, welcome to another adventure in real estate. We're really excited that you joined us here today. And uh, well, as with all things in adventures in real estate, you just never know what you might find. So with that being said, Miss Julie, it's a new year. Should we say new you? I'm not sure I need to be a new me. Oh, okay. Fair <laughs> Do enough. Do you need a new you? I, I think every day I wake up, it's a new me. <laughs> every day. Brand new day to get started. But with that being said, Julie, you got any um, you got any great resolutions for the year 2024? Well, I'm not a, a real big resolution person because most of the time we start New Year's Day doing really well and then by day two we're already behind, so <laughs> I just don't even do it. <laughs> I do have some goals for 24 though. Well, let's hear them. Well, can you I, share? I can. I'm, I'm having a baby in April, maybe March. We'll see what, what happens, so that's going to be boy number two. So I'm going to have two boys plus trying to uh, maintain a successful real estate career. So I think my number one goal for the year is to establish a good work life A little balance. balancing act. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a good... And keep my hair. <laughs> <laughs> well, as a father of two boys, good luck on yes. keeping the hair. <laughs> anyway. How about you? Um, this is... 2024 for me is going to be the year of accounting. Okay. I got to do, uh, that's a big goal for me. I've got a couple different businesses going on and um, certainly need to, to do a better job on the accounting front with that. So okay. that's a big goal for me in 2024. All right. So Julie, I think uh, I looked here recently, there's a goal for um, when you look at what is the overarching goal for folks, just a survey was done on what might be their goals for 2024. And I believe it looks like owning a home mm -hmm. ranks really high I in see that. the American dream here. So with that being said, Julie, Julie, we think about the goals of owning a home. If we were to lay out a blueprint, mm -hmm. the blueprint for owning a home, getting prepared to own a home, what would be like your top three? I would say preparing to own a home, you want to make sure you have established credit so, and that that credit score is is good. All right. So we need to work, make sure if we don't know what our credit score is. Probably need to investigate that. Yes. And then if we were to take that and build on a little bit, maybe our credit needs a little work. Mm -hmm. We can do some things to improve our credit. Yep. And I think part of that is talking to a lender. Mm -hmm. And so even if you're not quite ready, it's never too soon to talk to a lender because sometimes they can look at that credit score. They might look at some bank statements and and help you come up with a plan to increase that credit score if you're not quite ready. So talked about the credit score and those things. You mentioned lender. Mm -hmm. I've got to believe getting pre-approved is going to be uh, something that's That'd going to be, be a, a part. Okay. Probably a, a very big part. <laughs> and then coming up with a down payment. There you go. So those would be your three tips mm -hmm. on achieving the goal of home ownership in 2024. And with the down payment, I think that would also come under talking to the lender because they can let you know how you much of a down payment you need, what type of loan you qualify for. There are some loans that don't require any down payment, but you still need to have some money saved for a reserve. And then there are some that are going to require more money down. You bet. You bet. So, Julie, I think those are great things. And, um, well, what a great way to start off the new year. Yeah. We're wishing you the best in 2024. We appreciate you joining us on this adventure in real estate. We'll see you next time.